test two, test one, test two, test three, test one, test two. Test one, test two, test two.
attending this Bethel College Jazz Concert, which is the last concert of the semester. So for all you students, that's very good for you. Um, please take a moment to turn off your phones or your pager if you're a doctor or still on that speed. Um, you know, whatever you need to do. Uh, please do not take flash photography during this. We will be live streaming it and recording this. So you'll have another chance and opportunity to watch this later if you will. Um, I'd also like to thank Radio Kansas at 90.1 for helping me advertise this concert. Um, this is a new sort of marketing thing that we're endeavoring um, to do for our department and uh, we thank them for their partnership and their support. Well, without uh, any more talking, please help me welcome the Bethel College Jazz Combo. Thank you. 
Mark Taylor's arrangement of We Three Kings. seen that. Duke Ellington scored that entire movie, um, and this is one of the things that I played in graduate school, um, most of this soundtrack, um, and I thought it would be really, really great to push the band and challenge them in a fun and exciting way. So, this is going to feature the whole band, but Timothy Sherrod on the saxophone. Here's Flirty Bird. Thank you. 
Çeri dışı var. Next we'd like to play a tune entitled Everybody's Waiting, but the real title is For the Man with the Bag. This is a Christmas classic, but you may have heard it while you were Christmas shopping or in the department store doing whatever you were doing around Christmas time. And actually two weeks ago, I was out doing some stuff and I heard this exact arrangement in Home Goods. So, uh, <laughs> we'd like to feature uh, a new singer, sort of to us, but uh, we're gonna keep collaborating this is Sophia Chindama. This is the man with the bag. Free will offering to support 
jazz at Bethel College. Um, we have a really strong thing going here, and reeds, instruments, drum heads, all of these things cost money, so whatever you can donate, we would appreciate it. Um, the composer of this next piece, his name is Charles Mingus, and he holds the distinction of the only person to ever be officially fired from Duke Ellington's band. Um, he, had a, he had a temper, but he was such a creative bass player and pianist, and he would often have his band play live at the Village Vanguard, and he would improvise with his band in real time and put his bass down and sit at the piano and tell people, no, play this, and he would sing a line, and then they would all repeat it, and so he's sort of a post bop um, innovator of the avant-garde style that developed right after the 50s and into the 60s as the country was changing and everything um, was going on around that time, post-World War, post World War II in America. And I just happen to like this because it's introspective and a little bit weird. So this is Self-Portrait in Three Colors by Charles Mingus.
Well, before we play our last number, I'd like to thank uh, my colleagues, Dr. Waters, Dr. Liu, Chris Merchant, who I believe is playing his own concert uh, tonight for Christmas uh, in Salina, and uh, Michael Dunn and all of the AV crew. Thank you so much for all you do here. It's been a tremendous help this semester. Um, yeah, yeah, let's find him. This last piece was written by the brother of the famous saxophonist Cannonball Adderley. Uh, his name is Nat Adderley. He also played in his quintet. And this one is just fun. Um, it features both Timothy and Jacob Schrock. And uh, this is entitled One for Daddy O.
Thank you so much for coming. Have a wonderful evening. If the art galleries are still open, please go check them out. We have some wonderful senior art exhibits going on. Thanks and have a good night.